Hi kids. Today is probably going to be one of the tougher children's sermons I've ever done. Because I need to talk to you a little bit about Marty here. Now, you've watched Marty since the pandemic began because she's been helping me out with my children's sermons. Marty's been my dog for a long time. She's a great companion. And I love her very, very much. And she's been a great help with children's sermons too. Well, a little while ago, Marty started to get sick. We noticed that she was losing weight and she stopped eating. So the last few weeks I've been taking her to the doctor and we've been doing tests on her and we've been trying all sorts of things to help her get better. But none of it's working and she's just getting sicker and skinnier and she doesn't have as much energy as she used to. One of the first children's sermons I, I did, there's a little clip of her at the very end walking around and wagging her tail and investigating like she loves to do. But she can't do very much of that anymore. And I know she's not going to be with me very much longer. As a matter of fact, I think this probably will be her last children's sermon with me. And that's hard. It's hard because I love her. But... I know that as much as I love her and as much as I care for her, my love is limited. I can't keep her from dying. I can't keep her from getting sicker and finally just not being with me anymore. That's what happens a lot in our lives when we love people and they get sick. Maybe you've had a, a grandparent who passed away or someone else that you loved or maybe, like Marty here, you've had a pet that you cared for and the pet died. It's hard because when we love someone we want to be with them and when we love a pet we want them with us. They're, they're helpful. But the thing that I'm, I'm finding hopeful and helpful is I, I deal with the fact that Marty won't be with me much longer. Is the fact that as much as I love her, and she knows that, God loves me and yes, loves her more. And my ability to love, whether it's Marty or other people in my life who have died, like my parents and my kid's dad, much as I love them, God loves them more. And my love, my love can't stop people from dying. But God's love, God's love can love people from death into life and gives them hope even when they're not with us anymore that they're with God. And I think that applies to pets too. At least I've said to people, I don't want to go to heaven if there aren't any pets there because they're such a part of our lives. The Bible talks about how God cares about the birds of the air close the flowers in glory and says if God cares that much for them how much more does God care for you I think that's a sign that God cares for the animals too and God cares for our pets and loves them because they show us a little bit of what God's unconditional love is about it's what pets often do when the rest of the world is being tough to deal with pets show us just how much and how unconditional God's complete love can be. It's a pale image. It's not exactly what it is, but, but it gives us a glimpse. And I think because of that, God, God cares for all of the creatures, all creatures, and holds on to them. And even when we have to say goodbye, God keeps on holding on to them and rewards them for their faithfulness and for their general goodness, because they're they're not caught up in some of the things that make life hard for us as humans. And so as much as I'm going to miss Marty when she's not with me anymore, I know that God's going to hold on to me. That God loves me. And God loves her. And that doesn't take away the hurt and the pain of life sometime. But it makes us able to get through it. It makes us able to get through the hard times because... Because we know that God won't let go of us. That God loves us and cares for us. And God, God is, through Jesus Christ, shows us what love looks like. And so today I'm 
may not be back here with Marty again for another children's sermon. She's been such a good dog. But I'm really grateful that I've had her, especially during this pandemic, to be a friend and to be around. But I'm even more grateful that I know that God's love is there in Jesus Christ and in other people, and that in the midst of hurt and pain and death, that God's love is bigger and stronger. And so whenever you face a loss or death or pain in your life, know that our love, our love is not enough to change and to save people or to save our pets. But God's love, God's love saves and saves us. And for that, even when we're sad, we can trust and know we are loved. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for pets. Thank you for Marty. Thank you for people that we've loved. Thank you for always, always being a God who loves us more than the brokenness of the world. And just help us to know that love and to feel that love, even when we're sad even when death comes into our lives, to know that you love us and your love is infinite. It doesn't have an end. And because of that, we can have hope. Amen. Thanks for the children's sermon today. Thanks for loving and watching Marty. I really appreciate those of you who have commented on her. She's been a good dog. I'm going to miss her.